you're wide awake. Hope you're wide awake. When I come into your town, I wake the whole entire state. Said I hope you're wide awake. That was Grammy Award-winning DJ and producer Kid Capri and his song, Wide Awake. Capri is well-regarded as one of the true pioneers of DJ culture. He's produced for hip-hop legends like Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, and 50 Cent. And Kid Capri joins us now to discuss 50 years of hip-hop and the BET Awards, which are being held this Sunday. Thanks for being with us. So just basic question, why is it important to celebrate hip-hop and its contributions? Well, at one time, when it first started, it was told that it was just noise. It wasn't going to last. It was here for the moment. The older people didn't get it. Um, to be here 50 years later, and it created opportunities for different people, opened doors for different people, kept certain people out of trouble, and made a generous amount of money to, uh, to, to the culture, you know, from the culture, you know, to see this 50 years later, it's a monumental time. You know, and it showed it showed how how it stuck with everybody, and everything comes to it from country to reggae to classical music. Everything comes to, to hip hop, so that's why it's so strong and so worldly, and that's the reason why it stayed and remained. I just want to pick up on something you said right there. Um, but first, you you know, you said it opens doors for people. I want you to tell me a little bit more about that and sort of how hip hop today compares to you know fifty years ago. Well, I haven't had a job in 35 years. I haven't worked with anybody, but, you know, my business, I've done what I've done. I work with people, but I haven't worked for anybody as, as you know, getting up to go to a job. And uh, hip-hop provided that for me. Um, at one time, I worked in nine different supermarkets. I worked in a bookstore. I worked in a shoe store. I sold stuff on the street. I went and walked dogs. I shoveled snow. I did all kinds of things before I had a name. And I was doing this while I was DJing. I used to take care of underprivileged children. I used to sit in uh, councils, uh, the meetings that of uh, women that was raped and try to help them uh, with, with uh, trying to find a suggestion of giving them suggestions on how to cope with what they was dealing with. So I did all that before I was, had a name. So I was already seasoned to appreciate once I right. got where I was, mm -hmm. you know? I'm hearing you say that really um, it helped create this entrepreneurial spirit, right? People could Absolutely. really create their own businesses and their own right. sort of platforms. It's been happening for a long wow. time, for a while. And, uh, you know, look at all the different people, Queen Latifah and Dr. Dre and all these different people. Some of these people are billionaires, you know what I'm saying? And um, it came from hip hop music. You know, and of course, all these other things come because you lend your name and your celebrity to these things. And so all these other, you know, opportunities may happen, but it all stems from what you did in hip hop. If you was a rapper, if you was a DJ, you know, if you was a, a break dancer, whatever it was that you was in hip hop, you know, it, it eventually grew to take care of you, your family and create generational wealth. And that's what this is about. Well, that's a great sentiment. So looking ahead to Sunday's BET Awards, who are your picks for the best male and female artists? Oh, you know what? I don't have any best picks. <laughs> I just see everybody have a good time and everybody win. And because when one win, we all win. And that's the mentality that we got to have. It's not a, it shouldn't be a selfish thing. It should be a selfless thing to where we all win. Everybody, and that's what keeps us going. We all get together. We help, we help each other. We lift each other up. And they'll last. They'll last forever. And we could do that all the time and every day. In the last few seconds, what do you think the next 50 years look like? Uh, even stronger. We're going to be on the moon DJing. And, uh, oh, really? <laughs> That'd be amazing, you know, right? With, yeah, you'd be up there with R2-D2. Uh, <laughs> you know, with somebody. <laughs> I'm putting it in my diary right there. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. Right. Okay, Cap yeah. Capri, thank you so much for being with us and sharing your perspective, especially that entrepreneurial piece uh, to hip-hop. We appreciate it. Appreciate you.